All right, well, here is my farm, and we're already suffering major casualties as they Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another add-on showcase video. Today we are going to be checking out the Minecraft Bot-topia add-on by Lo-Fi Monk. This is an add-on that adds in a bunch of new bots into your game that uh, are completely customly craftable in survival and automate pretty much mundane processes for you inside of Minecraft. As always, there's a link in the description if you're interested in installing the add-on. And as always, I'm going to say it like everybody says it, most people who watch these aren't subscribed, so please subscribe if you aren't, and blah blah blah. Okay, let's get on to this. Alright, so before you do anything in the sat on pretty much, you're gonna want to grab yourself a bot crafter. So what you use, the bot crafter is essentially a custom crafting table for this add-on to craft the stuff in the add-on. So they're pretty, pretty easy to craft, you just craft them with a regular crafting table and a redstone dust, I'm pretty sure. And it makes this little bot crafter. That's an interesting noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it makes a very interesting noise. Um, but you can use it to turn redstone to redstone flakes, as well as get pretty much everything else you need for the add-on. I'm not going to be crafting and trading stuff in this video, though. Um, but this is all pretty self-explanatory. Um, and if you're ever wondering how to do anything inside of this add-on, there's a little button up here, a little robot guy. You click on the little robot guy and it shows you everything that you need to know about the add-on, which is really useful. Um, but for the video's sake, I've already looked at that and we're just going to get into like, you know, what stuff does. So what you're going to need, uh, if you want to make any form of bot, you're going to need a bot, which you can craft, as well as a piece of redstone. Summon in your bot, it's not really going to do anything, it's just going to make beep noises and just sit there. Then you feed it the redstone, oops, that's not redstone, you feed it the redstone, it turns into this little guy. Which you can essentially use as a chest, as a sort of mobile storage device. I don't know if he actually does anything, he kind of just sits there. But you can hold out a redstone flake and he'll follow you. Or shill or not any gender because it's a robot. I don't know what I'm talking about. But the robot will follow you. And if you want to give the robot special abilities, that is where these chips come in. So I'm going to go ahead and grab each of these chips. And we're going to just check them out. And I'm going to show you everything that they do. So let's start with the miner chip. If we throw a miner chip on this guy, which uh, it's not working. It's opening up. Okay, well, if you shift click the the bot it this is you know i think i might have messed up hey it's me from uh from the future i didn't realize until just now that you needed legs to make minor bots so if this seems kind of out of place that's because it is you have to give them bot legs and then you can give them a minor chip and then you can oop if i can break some of this stuff you can ride them they're very slow but they act as a drill essentially and they'll mine a lot of things. It's not the, not the most effective way to uh, mine, I'd say. But if you want to, uh, if you want to drill, I guess it probably takes about as much time as it would to uh, to mine a three by three area if you're if you're pretty quick. But um, yeah, this is actually a solidly effective way to mine. You can mine in whatever direction you want to. And then if you get off of them here, let me. Oh, I don't want to punch that guy. Uh, let me let me just break this in a little bit, and we can head down here. Maybe I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna drown my bot. This isn't good at all. Um, here, let's get over here. So if you're just over here mining. And, uh, and you just, uh, hold on. I want to get somewhere where there's not a bunch of flowing water. Um, can you come down here, bot, please? Thank you. Okay. Can you, will you follow me? Maybe I have to hold out some, uh, hold out some redstone flakes so this guy will... I don't know, I don't know what he's doing. So I'm just gonna start pretending like, hey, let's say I'm, I'm doing a nice, making a nice strip mine. Is he gonna do anything? Does it need to be two blocks wide from them? Are you, are you okay? Are you gonna do anything? Well, this is, uh, this is not very effective. It's, oh gosh, okay, they, they get swiftness when you, do they? I don't know why he was so fast for a second. I, you know, I honestly, I don't really know what's going on, but I don't know if this guy's gonna start putting down torches or what. You're, you're, you have one job, and that job is to put down torches. I mean, me riding on you is like a, another thing, but just, just place the torches. Just put down torches. I've seen you put down torches before. That's why I have a torch in my inventory. Uh, two torches, in fact. So why won't you put down more torches? Uh, you can, I don't know if you can jump with these. Yeah, you can, okay. This is like, I think the only bot that jumps or at least one of the only bots that jumps. I don't know if any of the other ones do. But I mean, the mining capabilities of this guy is, is are pretty doobie neat. 
Um, so yeah, I'd recommend the miner bot. Anyway, let's hop back to where we were. I'm probably gonna mention a couple times that I couldn't get the miner bot to work. Ignore me when I say that. I can get the miner bot to work. I uh, I just didn't because I'm I'm not smart. But uh, anyway, yeah, hop right back into this. But we're gonna move on to the guard bot because this is one of the coolest ones. So go ahead, find your bot, give it some legs, just like that, and you get a bot with legs. It's got legs now, that's pretty interesting. Then you give it the guard ship and it becomes an angry bot with legs. But not just any angry bot with legs, an angry bot with legs that will protect you, I think at least for the most part. I don't know if you have to feed this guy like redstone flakes or something. Oh, no, okay, there you go. Well, you can feed him redstone flakes, I think give him a bit of a buff. But also, you can give him weapons. Oh my gosh, he like runs over here like a little... Like a little guy with leg, I guess because he has legs. Anyway, you can give him a sword and he holds a sword. You can also give him armor. Uh, and if you give them armor, they, they have armor. But it doesn't actually show up on their body. I want to see if it will protect me from husks. So let's see. It essentially is sort of like a dog, I think, is what the, uh, what the page said. This might be a problem with having this thing open now. I actually added an opening here. But now it's, uh, this is kind of a problem. Alright, are you going to hit them? This guy seems to be pretty useless, I'm gonna be honest. Let me go into survival. Oh, now he's hitting him, all right. Oh yeah, you got it, miner bot. You got it. Okay, this is probably not gonna be that interesting of a fight, but I really wanna see the miner bot take on the whole horde of husks. I'm gonna go back in the creative and just see, just see what happens, all right. Maybe we should get some more miner bots. I think that sounds like a good idea. I don't know if that sounds like a good idea to you guys, but it definitely... Did this guy just get thrown over here? Oh, he teleported to me because I, I went over here. All right. Well, you guys are all gonna turn in the bots. Let's see if we can if we can make a bunch of minor bots here. Let's see. We need uh, legs. They all they all gotta have legs. Okay. This is important. You can't have a minor bot or a guard bot. Sorry, if it doesn't have legs. I. I Keep calling these minor bots, I think. Let's feed them some redstone flakes, and then I should probably grab some more swords for them. Here, some of you guys, just take netherite swords, all right? There we go. These three guys have netherite swords. Come over here. This is actually incredibly effective. If you want an army of bots to fight for you, this, uh, this works pretty well. But anyway, we should probably move on to the next set of bots, because these all kind of go hand in hand. So first, we're going to check out the hopper bot. Now, unknown was- No! One of the bots got slain by the husk. Okay, these guys are a bit of a problem. Let me just slash kill at E for a second here, um, just to get rid of these guys. Anyway, next here we have the hopper bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and block this op for just a second. Um, block this op, block this off. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have your bot, give it redstone as normal, and give it the hopper chip, and it's got a little hopper on its head. Now, I think I had a thing in here that I forgot to pick up that was, uh, there was some flowers. Yeah, here we go. So as you can see, if we head over to this hopper bot guy and we drop some flowers here, he'll sort of like run around and pick up the flowers. And then the flowers go inside of the guy's little hopper. Um, and then eventually, I don't know how long it takes for it to go over here, but eventually, yeah, as you can see, he'll go over here onto the actual hopper if you put it on the ground. And these guys can't jump or anything. And he'll unload a little bit of his of his stuff and then he goes over there he picks up the item and then occasionally he'll just come over here put him into the hopper so this could be really good for an automatic sorting system or you could do this for use this in like all kinds of auto farms and stuff i could imagine this would be like genuinely extremely useful because like imagine you've got some kind of like farm here that has you know it's like maybe one of those melon farms that ends up having a lot of like melons pieces just like sort of floating there on blocks next to or like part of the farm you could just have this guy sort of roaming that picking that stuff up and then putting it in the hopper which is pretty neat you could use it for really anything you could imagine that you could use a hopper for and it's just sort of like a hopper that picks stuff up for you picks it up and then he'll just sort of patrol the area and then head back into the little hopper and then just hopper the stuff into the hopper. Plus, I mean, you can just put stuff in them if you need. If you're just like running around, you just got stuff in your inventory that you don't want or you want to automatically sort out. And let's say you could have this guy like roaming around your base so that like if you if you ever run into him, you can just be like, oh, I want to put this in my auto sorting system or whatever. You can just throw this stuff into this inventory and then you can take it back out uh, once it's in the sorting system. But as you can see, you know, we've got we've got redstone flakes, bots, blue orchids, all of that uh, going on in here, uh, just like that. And then the last two bots we've got here, which I, I would expect this to be a lot longer, 
if I hadn't have not had a, you know, I'm just going to leave that guy there. I, I was expecting this to be a lot longer of a video and a lot bigger of an add on with the miner bot, but I can't seem to get it working. So I don't know. Maybe there is a disclaimer on the website saying that the, um, that the miner bot doesn't work or something like that. I can't get it to work. So hopefully, hopefully we can figure it out at some point. Anyway, the first, uh, the first, first, last, second to last one we're going to check out here is the farmer bot. So if you grab yourself a farm chip and uh, and give your bot a farm chip, it will turn into a farmer and it'll go around. And theoretically, if you give it some seeds, just like that, it will go ahead and break all of these and then pick up the seeds from them as well as the wheat. And, uh, and it'll replant the crops. So it essentially does just act as a farming bot. I'd recommend probably putting like slabs over this or, or uh, trap doors or something if you want them to not like accidentally fall in the water or anything. But then you can go over to your bot, you can take out your stuff and it will just sort of automatically farm things. However, that's pretty much all it does. It doesn't put stuff into a hopper. And that is where the, if I can find it, the uh, harvest chip, here we go. The harvest chip comes in. So you summon in, your next bot, uh, give them redstone and whatnot. And keep in mind that this, you can have a bunch of these guys working for you at the same time. You can have a whole farm of bots. So anyway, you give it the harvest bot or you give the bot the harvest chip and the harvest bot will go over to the farm bot and the farm bot will eventually be like, Hey, I don't need this stuff here. Let me give them some wheat to give to the, to the, to whatever this is to the, uh, what, what is it called? Not hopper, harvest. There we go. It starts with the H, it's confusing. And I think the idea is that eventually the farmer bot will give the farmed crops to the harvest bot and then the harvest bot will take those over to a hopper, just like a hopper bot. Um, but the harvest bot gets crops from the from this guy. I don't know if they're actually gonna trade off anything though. They're supposed to, I think, but it doesn't seem to be working. So yet again, when in doubt, we can consult this little like bot guide thing right here. So harvest bot, harvest bots will search for farmland to patrol and wait for farm bots to load them up with crops. From the time, uh, from time to time, the harvest bot will search for a hopper in the ground. It can sit on and unload its cargo and yeah, they can't jump. So I don't know if they're, if they're trading anything yet. Maybe I need to give the farmer bot some more stuff. Maybe it takes like once the farmer bot is full. And the farmer bot starts giving stuff to the to the harvest bot. I'm not really sure, but uh, just to test it out, let's see if I if I can grab some crops just like this. I'm gonna grab a few a few stacks of crops. Well, quite a few stacks of crops actually. And I want to see how much crop it would take. Maybe there's not a limit. Maybe it's just a time based thing, and I would in theory have to wait for a little while. I don't know what these guys are doing, but I want to see if I can feed them. Can I feed these guys? Yeah, I fed them. I don't know what this does. If this like makes them work faster or something. Let's see. Is this? Are they gonna trade off stuff yet? Nope. I need to. I need to check. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so this guy is giving the the wheat to uh, to this other guy right here. I'm gonna give him the stuff that I accidentally picked up. And then I think after this, or at least a little while after this, he should take it to the hopper. Um, I also want to see how this guy's doing. He doesn't have anything. Hey, you picked up the oak fence. Apparently I, I gave him an oak fence. You know what? I'm just going to drop all my stuff to this hopper bot while we wait for the, uh, we, while we wait for the harvest bot to do his thing. Here you go. You can take all my stuff. Um, let's see. What's the harvest bot looking like here? Uh, well, you, you missed a bunch of stuff, Mr. Farmer bot. But I think the harvest bot is going to like intentionally try to you know, go over here and pick up some of this stuff. They do function a lot like villagers, but you can actually look in their inventories. And I think this is a situation where you'd want a hopper bot as well to sort of pick up the mess from the, uh, from... Did that guy just sing a song? What, what, what was that? Um, uh, all right. Well, anyway, you can see that the, the hopper, or this guy, the harvest bot is at least trying to pick things up. He doesn't seem to be capable of picking things up right now for some reason. I don't know what's going on, um, so I'd maybe recommend getting yourself a, uh, getting yourself a, can I like pick block the type of bot I want? No, I can't. Well, I, re I recommend getting yourself a hopper bot. Oops, I just spawned in another bot. All right, you, you can go in the water. They die in the, I guess that makes sense. They're robots. They, they would probably like die in the water. Oh, there we go. Okay. they will pick it up at intervals probably then. And I just want to see, maybe if I just, uh, if I just... If I, you know, do a little bit of productivity, a little bit of downsizing down. Are you going to push him into the water? Is this robot going to push this? I want to see this happen. This is like a... Oh, nope. He's pushing him out of the way. Okay. Well, you know what? Frick you. Because you were going to... 
That was a village. That wasn't a villager. That was a robot. All right. Well, maybe if we can just push this guy in the general direction of the hopper. He's supposed to go there eventually, but um, I don't know if he's if he feels like going there. Anyway, this guy will be attracted to the farmland blocks themselves, whether there's crops on them or not. I'm pretty sure. And uh, I'll just sort of hang out here until he eventually decides to head over to the hopper. But I think because it's taking him a while to decide to go over to the hopper, I should grab some of that. I can't remember what it's called. The uh, the redstone redstone pieces, Reese's pieces, red redstone, whatever it's called, the redstone flakes. I think. Um, I wonder if I can. Here we go. They're in nature. If I grab myself some redstone flakes, can I bring this guy over to the hopper? Convince him to start unloading. There we go. Um, and then this guy will drop his stuff off into the hopper, just like just like the hopper bot. The hopper bot goes to the hopper more regularly. This guy can trade, um, or not really trade, but can gather stuff from farmer. Or bots to uh, to do stuff. So I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make the best auto farm I can with these guys. I will be back shortly, and uh, and you'll be able to see what I made. All right. Well, here is my farm, and we're already suffering major casualties as they all jump into the water. So I didn't really think about the fact that uh, the the water is not covered up and they can just fall into there. But this is my farm. It's in theory working and it's probably going to take a little while to actually work. I definitely think there are much better ways you could do this. Maybe not putting this many bots into it, but I'm going to boost the uh, ticking speed if I can. I think it's, what is it? Random tick speed slash, what is it? Slash game rule, uh, random tick speed. There we go. Uh, I'm going to set to 100 and just see if my crops grow. Yeah, here we go and see if this... Uh, and I set it to 1,000. Okay, there we go. Now, now the crops are growing, and now the now the bites will function. So this is sort of like a simulated overtime kind of thing. Um, the they're they're drowning though, which like isn't good and stuff. So I'm gonna block off a little bit of this water. And uh, I think there's I don't have enough farmer bots, and I might have too many hopper bots. I I don't think what I did here was an effective strategy. But I've got a little a few guard bots around the outside to protect me. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it to here, um, like and subscribe and whatever. I'm gonna give this add-on probably a solid 7.5 out of 10. I think it's really good. I think there are a few things that could be fixed, but overall, I think it's a really cool add-on. It has a lot of potential, assuming that some of the things could be fixed. Maybe if the, uh, if the, whatever they called, the, the harvester bots went to the, um, went to the hopper a little bit more anyway thanks for watching if you made it here link in the description down this add-on join my discord server and whatever see you guys later and bye